Hello, y'all. Welcome to part 16 of my Rene Gunan Morocco playthrough in the Hearts of Iron 4 mod Kaiser Redux. In part 15, we basically made preparations for the arrival of the Sultan of the World, which is what Rene Gunan will transform into very soon. Once we finish to focus, the Sultan of the World. So let's actually go to our research slots. A focus gave us a lot of research slots. I think we originally just had two. Let's research interwar tank development, basic engines, go to maybe naval. I want to get naval invasion too. Well, more transport technology anyway. Let's get landing craft. That's going to help us out with naval invasions, hopefully. And here is some unassigned garrison divisions. Send them off to somewhere to 4th Army is in charge of that department, they just garrison stuff all the time. And so we have several ar several armies spread around the world, mainly in South America and Europe. So we have an army watching the German Empire, Sweden, Austria, Italy, this German puppet in England, and what else? Okay, so we have all these troops just spread around all over the place. And we have unassigned divisions here. These guys are going to go to the garrison force we have been building up constantly, which is now at 149 divisions. It's only going to get larger. And our divisions, right now we can't train anymore because we need support equipment. So let's put more, what is it, put more production on support equipment, like more factories. I mean, we're already waiting for more factories to be sent out. Well, to be used for making support equipment. But that's going to be done. And Sultan of the World has less than 20 days to be complete now and Suriname has Suram I don't know they capitulated they lost to the German Empire that happened and I think they were part of the Entente faction the Entente faction at this time is fighting the Reichs Pact so we're seeing the Reichs Pact take on the countries countries such as Canada the French national state and who else is in the Entente like Ireland Ireland's being invaded right now they're trying to deal with some Germans and Flanders, Wallonians, and they're just holding out in Dublin, the Irish are. They're going to lose the rest of their country, though, it looks like. We have researched infantry anti-tank infantry anti tank one. That's done. Now let's do mechanized equipment one. I don't even think we'll use that, but we'll have it anyway. And so that's going to be complete very soon. And how are we doing with the salt? Okay, it's going to be done very soon. Yeah, good, good. Salt of the world will be finished. And things will get very out of control once that is complete. And you'll see what I mean by that shortly. And what is going on here? Beringia? Oh, no. That's not good, isn't it? Oh, no. Alaska is going to be really aggressive. Beringia may go to war with Canada. Yeah, I didn't realize. Can I don't know what the deal is there. That's a little concerning, though, because they're usually very powerful. And so we have some more divisions here. They'll go to the to the fourth army the sultan of the world focus is done that national focus is complete and we are declared war on many countries around the world we have we have left the we have left the middle europa we were okay it's done now we declared war on many countries and what is this i'm going to get this event constantly i can't get i'm declaring war on every country oh my goodness why do i get all these events about leaving middle europa we weren't even part of the faction we were part of the kaiser wilhelm Research Society, I think. But that was it. Why'd I get all these? Oh, no. Do I get this constantly? What are these for? Are they like an infinite loop of these? I hope they're not. I hope I don't have infinite leaving Middle Europa events. I just got like 20 of these. How many more of these? Three more. So I got like 10 of them. And so we declared war in this country. I think we're at war with every country in the world. Just hit enter. Enter. We're at war with everyone. We are fine, everyone. So I had to rush through that. And now we are the Sultanate of Mankind. We're led by Abdel Yahya, Yahya, whatever. Rene Gunan with his Arabic name he adopted, I think, in the 1930s. And so we got a new flag. And the Sultanate of Mankind's goal is to unite humanity under Islam by taking over every country in the world. So let's set up the orders for all of our troops. We're going to advance in every country. Make the moves, guys. Attack, attack, attack. We have several orders we got to look at here. And so we're going to begin trying to paint the globe, so to speak, and our brush will be the offensive line command. And so we have a bunch of troops here that are going to be very confused. They can't really do anything too well. I mean, we're fighting all these countries in South America. Let's just actually take the 
take this army here, do something with them. The 14th army is just sort of isolated in their position. I don't know what they can do, really. Maybe they could just, I don't know, push here. They'll do that, yeah. They could maybe accomplish that. Just push into Peru and Bolivia, Paraguay and Uruguay. Get that done. Set up some new orders for them first. Do that. That's done now. Good. Let's have them set up this order. Push into Peru. Okay, this is going to go good. Hit the arrow now. That's activated, and we're also trying to push into Colombia. I mean, yeah, Colombia. That's going on. We're at war with everyone in the world, so this is going to be very fun. And let's push here. Where is our troops? We need to probably redo the positions of the... What is this? The... the that's impassable, isn't it? Okay, never mind. It doesn't matter. Just push. Just push the troops of Colombia back. And England has capitulated. That was the puppet of the Germans. So what we would do with this army is maybe send them somewhere else. I'm not sure where. We're trying to push into Switzerland. It's not going so well right now. We'll eventually try to overwhelm them. Where's our air force at even? They are in France. Way too many of them are just in that part of France. Focus on Switzerland maybe. Just focus a lot of planes there. Send them into the skies, try to take down some planes, also do some close air support. I mean, naval bombing actions in the Mediterranean. We need to move some more planes, I think. That might be a good idea. Possibly. So we're now trying to do naval attacks. Not naval attacks, but just do some, I guess, close air support in Switzerland. We need more planes, though. So let's move these planes out of southern, well... Yeah, out of that air base in Catalonia, focused them entirely on Switzerland. Do we have any more close air support in that air base? I don't think we do. We need more close air support aircraft. We do need that. So get some close air support here, that hind, all these planes, get all these planes we can get together. Get like a hundred of them. That would be good. There we are. And so send them up here and just provide close air support in Switzer Switzerland to try and defeat the Swiss. And over overwhelm them. They just have troops concentrated all over the place. Push here. Put this order to be aggressive. Also have the order for the Army Group 1 to be aggressive, who is advancing. Okay, never mind. They're advancing anyway. They're taking on the Reich's Pact. And where is the... Okay, they're done. Let's move the... Oh, we have an army in Switzerland, too. They're trying to do stuff. I mean, Sweden. They're trying to fight the enemy here. It's only going so well, though. I think they'll win, given enough time. And tons of ships are being sunk here, tons of subs, tons of tons of stuff belonging to the Reich's Pact and the Entente. And that's a lot of sunk submarines by our naval bombers. We put like 400 naval bombers in the in the English Channel, I believe. So let, let's take the, what is this? This is the 8th Army. We're going to take them and let's send them maybe to, how's things going in Brazil? I mean, they're making some gains in Colombia. I mean, yeah, South America. Although, let's probably send another army down here. I don't know if they'll get there in time. We could do that. How are we doing in Africa? Let's maybe send some troops down here into, I guess, into Western Africa. Just advance down there. Try to take out some French... Well, take over to French territories in West Africa. Continue to march on Algiers. Make this order aggressive. Please change that battle plan to be more aggressive. More divisions are ready. Use them for garrison duty. There they go. They're going somewhere. And our convoys are probably going to come under attack everywhere. But we're doing our best to just sink everything we can see. Has anyone else fallen yet besides England? I don't think so. We need to get the French Kingdom down, though. We might be able to accomplish that. Not entirely sure. Just keep pushing into Italy right now. And our troops are making their way there. We have surrounded some troops and they got destroyed. Keep pushing. And this is going to be a very brutal war. We're trying to push into Germany. We have tons of manpower. It doesn't really matter how many losses we take. We just got to eventually overwhelm the enemy with our sheer numbers. More planes have been sunk. Oh well. I mean, they have shot down over the English Channel. So they crashed. Keep pushing here. Move toward Paris, maybe. Can we accomplish that? Can you advance through those guys? They can. So try to break through there. How is this army doing here? We're pushing more into North Africa. Get to Algiers is all we got to do, really. The French National State doesn't really have that many units here, which is fine by me. And we're continuing to advance in both, both West Africa and North Africa. 
the Republic of Ireland capitulated. I think the Reich's Pact took them out. And so we are fighting every country in the world. We're facing every navy, every navy in the world with that as well. The Abyssinian Empire defeated the Kingdom of Somalia. All right, how's the war down in South America going? In, say, Paraguay, it's, I don't know. It could be going worse. I mean, it could also be going better, but whatever. And the fall of Algiers, Algiers regime is going to be dead soon. The French national state will be gone, and then the Sultanate of Mankind will be the, will be the only successor to France. Let's get some more support equipment manufactured here. That's going to be done. More free dockyards for us, I guess, to make destroyers. We just have so many places we have to focus on micro microing right now. It's just very hectic, I guess. Keep pushing here. As long as we can have troops defend the ports we capture, I'm fine with it. And those troops of the... How are they doing? The 8th Army hasn't really arrived yet in in West Africa. Let's have the 4th Army actually do this here. Area defense, guard these ports. Get that done. And have them just guard ports at this point. Actually, no, guard the... Guard victory points as well as ports. Take this place, that place. Victory points. Anything with the victory points. Just protect it. All you gotta do. And so they're gonna protect England as well as what else? These places in Italy we have captured. And how is Switzerland doing? I think they've lost some territory. And we are pushing into Germany, it appears. We're pushing, yeah, we've entered Stuttgart. And let's unpause once more. We have new, another research slot. Let's get maybe anti-air. We'll get that done for us. And we're still pushing into North Africa. A bunch of French divisions or divisions of the French national state or members of the Entente. Divisions of the Entente have been surrounded here. Let's destroy them since they're encircled. The Romanian Legionary Kingdom has capitulated and they are fighting the Austrians as well as... They are fighting Austria, yeah, Romania and Bulgaria are... And so is Italy, well, the Italian Federation is, for that matter. Research slot available, do rocket artillery, I'm just doing anything, honestly. And let's get some more firearms or more planes set up here. We can't trade with anyone, obviously, because, you know, we're at, we're at war with everyone, so we just got to make do with what resources we have. Even though we may have a deficit of resources, eventually more divisions are needed for the 8th Army. I think they had one get sunk. One, got, one unit got destroyed at sea, 4th Army. Yeah, I think some of the divisions we had got lost at in, at sea due to the German Navy. We're going to take more of the Swiss Confederation is out of the war. They're going to be annexed. So Switzerland is the first country that wasn't in a faction to fall to us. And we're going to annex everything. So pass and take everything. And we did have one army assigned to them, so I don't know what to do with them at this point. I guess they could maybe push into perhaps... Where are they going to even advance now? They had an army there. We had an army there. They're going to go to maybe... Where are they? They're down here. I think... No, that's a different army, isn't it? No, that's the right one. So which army was focusing on Switzerland? They're going to go into Germany now. Let's have them push into parts of Germany and Bohemia and Austria. They'll do that. Austria should be distracted since they're fighting the Mediterranean Axis. And so we'll try to focus them there. Just push as hard as we can. We will probably end up capturing all of Europe first, I would say before we get any other continents under our control, because that's where we have most of our units concentrated at. Let's start manufacturing better artillery, more planes, maybe some more close air support. Can I go find close air support? Okay, it's there. Never mind. Naval bombers are being made. Maybe get some transport planes. I don't know. If we can basically start manufacturing anything we want to. We have cores on everything in the world, so it's pretty overpowered, but hey, the salt of mankind is overpowered in general if you just look at its national spirits. Here's some more divisions for us. Give them to the garrison force. The French national state has capitulated. They're gone. And let's take this army here. This army, they're going to advance into Ottoman North Africa, Ottoman Libya, essentially in this area here in Tunis. Go for all that. Push as hard as they can. Take this port here. Over here, yeah. Take that port. Do we control it? No. Well, we do control the port, but just take it, because the French national state is defeated, they're capitulated. And how are we doing in South America? How are we faring there? We are pushing into more of Colombia. The army we had in, well, in Argentina is holding out relatively well. They're pushing a little bit into Uruguay and into Paraguay. Bolivia has sort of not really been affected by the advance in that area on that continent, but whatever. We'll sort it out later. 
And let's give some more divisions to the, what is this, the First Army. They'll get four more divisions, because now their, their commander can lead that many troops, apparently. So can the Second Army. So more troops are going to go to Europe. And here's some stuff relate more military factories. So many military factories. Way too many of them. Make more guns, I guess. I don't know. There's just so many things to focus on with military factories. Like, what do we make? I mean, just make anything, honestly. More convoys. Let's manufacture more of those. And I think I'm going to end part 16 of my Rene Gunan Morocco playthrough and Kaiser Redux here. You can check out Kaiser Redux in the video description. The link to the mod is there. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe.